Welcome to Raider Build Part 3. Um, here's some footage of my original 1980s Raider, um, just as I get the parts ready to uh, build this new one together. So here we are, step one, shock assemblies. Didn't need to do this because I've got some oil filled dampers to go on the car. So straight on to assembling the front suspension arms. These came together really easily as I would kept a lot of the assembled parts from the, the teardown. Everything was quite clean. So I didn't have a great deal to do here other than just mount a few bits and pieces together uh, and attach everything on the front. So here we are, step number four, installation of the front shocks. So I was adding the oil filled shocks at this point. I used some fast track 55 millimeter adjustables on the front. Now they're quite a bit bigger than the standard shocks, but I think you'll agree they, they look great on the car. Bumpers on next. So I used the original screws. They went through a lot easier than the, the, the new ones that I bought. Um, the front of the car is pretty much done here. Uh, so you can see a little bit of uh, footage that I recorded at the front and how it all looks now it's come together. It's always nice to see these, these cars when they're all shiny and, and new or, or clean, should I say, uh, before we take them out on the track and get them covered in, in dust and mud. Um, but this one's gone together relatively easy at the front. Uh, the dreaded gearbox is coming next and I've read that that's not an easy thing to start putting together. So I wasn't looking forward to mounting the motor. So this was the, the nice peace and quiet before I attempted the next phase of the build. As you can see here, there's two motor plates holding everything together on the gearbox. That was quite tricky to get that together and get it on. It took me quite a few minutes. Um, I ended up having to sort of twist the, the, the rear end of the chassis around to, to use gravity a little bit to help me keep it together while I screwed it all in tight. But it's mounted now. So for the next step, we've got to build the rest of the gearbox. That's going to be coming in part four. And as always, if you've enjoyed the content, please take a moment and subscribe. Thanks a lot.